This season, we've added to every episode of Healing Quest a moment of gratefulness from you, Brenda Wade. And I can't wait to hear what you have for us today. Thank you, Roy. So often when I'm giving classes or seminars, people say to me, how can I be grateful in the midst of a crisis or a time of loss? And the honest answer is you can't be grateful. If you're in the midst of a crisis or a loss, there are gonna be very, very powerful feelings. And these are chemical reactions in the body. You can't turn away from them. In fact, you must turn toward the feeling. And we live in a culture that says, ignore your feelings, numb out. Don't worry about those pesky feelings, just stuff them inside. And when we do that, those chemicals in the body literally can get stuck and they make us sick. So if you're going through a crisis, turn toward the feelings, talk about them, write about them, express them in a support group, but whatever you need to do, express them. Then you can look back after the crisis has passed and see what you've learned, what that loss meant for you, how new possibilities might have opened in your life. In my own life, I lost my ex-husband, my children's father to a sudden death. And it was only after the loss and the grief I looked back, I could be more grateful for him than I'd ever been. So after the crisis has passed, then practice gratefulness with all your heart. Ah, it's wonderful information. Thank you, Brenda.